Okay, we're back! And we're also back on the original save file. So, like, we're not gonna uh, skip over any of the fun collectibles in the, the fun extra cool bonus episodes much, much later. Yeah, just kidding. I might not actually do that. I, I probably will, but they're, they might be choppy or they might actually just be world exploration. I'm not entirely sure. I've been thinking about how best to do those. I don't even know what Royal just said, to be honest. I was not paying attention at all. Let's come on, Royal. I'm glad you're here to open doors for me, because you're sure as heck not doing anything else. Oh, cool. Lore, sort of. What the heck? Oh! Whoa, dude! The people who the the freaking places are named off of. Wow. Progeny Royal. Binoch. Was that Black? That might have actually been Agent Black. Madeline Binoche. I I don't know who that is. Whatever. Wow. Isn't this nice? It's a good thing we can breathe in space too, because like. Oh, jeez. A star worm. Wow, I can't believe it. It's THE star worm. I wonder why this space station was completely abandoned. I also wonder why it looks still so good. I like the idea that they just put, like, grass-looking rocks on the moon. So that they would look like grass <laughs> or plants. I... I'm not even going to say that's a terrible idea, like, I, I suppose the obvious would be just have plants, you can grow plants in space, but, like, there's nothing inherent to space that makes it, like, bad for plants, you know. I suppose you could say, uh, not geotropism is gravity, right? I believe so. So, uh, you could say that it could mess with geotro ge geotropic plants. But whatever. Royal, stop trying to break the glass. The fish don't like it when you do that. Royal. What is up, dude? What are you doing? Is he gonna lift the whole dang place off the surface of the moon? It should be easier. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's calling the Star Worm over. Jeez. Yeah, we're gonna talk to this. We're gonna talk to this thing, of course. Coming so fast, too. Yeah. Very fast. I wonder... Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. My interpretation of worms... They don't have arms. Also, they really just did their darndest at making this thing look like a cock. Hold on. <laughs> I did not remember this at all. Okay, minus the bulging blue growths, which most people don't have, uh, I'm assuming, um... <laughs> Looks a little bit like. Anyways, um, I guess it goes with long, wormy things with heads. I suppose it's just the way. I, I, uh, it could have made it flatter. You know, you could have done like a kind of Dune style Shy Halud kind of worm. You know, could have made it look like that thing from Beetlejuice. I'm not going to say that it was perfectly intentional that Joachim Stanberg made it look like a dick, but it looks kind of like a dick to me. Maybe I just look at dicks a lot. My own, of course. My own huge penis. Probably about this big. Like, two scale, honestly. I have to hide it on the moon so that I don't wipe out half humanity when it twitches and stuff like that. This has probably gone on for long enough. Anyways, Royal, I don't really care about the lore. Let's just fight this thing, because we know that's probably going to happen. I was chosen by you! <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm just kind of glad that this thing didn't completely, like, break glass immediately. Because I think that might be happening. Oh, Royal, I think you're doing something that it might not like. I get the feeling that the blue stuff is possibly a deep space alien kind of deal. Along the lines of, uh, 
Kirby Dark Matter, you know? What's happening to my head? Hell. Boy. And now we're dead. There's no making it out of this one. Oh, dang. Starworm is going all the way back. Okay, looks more like Lara now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but I need Royal. Wonderful. Yeah, I knew I should have helped him. Royal, why do you have to be so useless? I only have three minutes to get out of here before this entire place is completely derived of oxygen because it would definitely take that long. Anyways, what do you mean, what have you done? Come on, Royal. You at least prolonged the inevitable for a short amount of time. And I'm not going to say that that's the worst thing on Earth. You could have prolonged the inevitable for a bit longer, but um, who knows. Looks like the Earth was that thing's target anyways. So, whatever. Oh, I would if I could, trust me. But I still need you to open the doors, so... With... With me, you go. Probably are, if I'm being honest, Royal. Uh, you've had, honestly, relatively marginal impact on the story progression. Um, sort of. I don't know, Royal's had some impact on the story progression, just as the uh, man on the inside kind of figure, you know? Yeah. Yeah, revolutionary authority, I suppose. Anyways. Oh no, I guess I'll have to leave him here. What a shame. See you, Royal. Have fun out here. It's a darn shame I have to leave him behind. Oh, jeez, how could I? Whatever. Ayanara, fellas. I really don't want that to be an episode. That can't be the full episode. So, you know what? Uh, I guess we're going to listen to a bit of lore, or watch a bit of lore, or whatever the heck happened. Dang, Royal is straight up dead. That's an arm jam. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. He'll be fine. He's not going to be fine. He's totally not going to be alright. We left him there to die. Okay, cool. Just getting that out there. And we're back. I'm sure glad those things still worked after however the hell long they were up there without any kind of maintenance. I suppose you could argue... Okay. Not the softest landing. I guess the fuel degenerated a little bit. I mean, you could make the argument that space travel isn't exactly the most complicated thing when you're going between Earth and the Moon. In this case, you could say, uh, you just gotta make something resilient enough to keep something inside with enough fuel to get it out of an atmosphere and into another one. Um, and I guess in terms of a moon, if it's anything like our moon, it's not even difficult to aim it because, um, the rotation of the moon is proportional to the revolution of the moon in that we are always looking at the same side of the moon. Basic. I don't know if it... Yeah, it revolves at the same rate that it rotates, which leads to it uh, constantly facing us from the same point. Which is an interesting kind of happenstance. I've always figured that, I mean, it has to have... It can't be that perfect, right? has to spin at least a little bit, but I don't know if we really have a so good of a, an a idea of what the moon looks like from Earth. I I would, we would notice, you know. I'm sure you would, but, you know. It's the kind of thing that doesn't have any, doesn't seem to have any bearing on uh, how we live our lives, so it would be uh, intriguing. Um... I don't really care, you I mean, uh, I haven't been listening to begin with, so, you know. Oh, hey! Elro's in there. Thanks, Mina. Let go of me now. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the world anyways. Doesn't matter. <laughs> don't worry, Mina. I know that everybody hates you. Little Robin, we're the same size. If anything, I might be larger uh, by volume or mass, maybe. I don't know. I carry a wrench around. She seemed to have trouble with the shotgun. Look at how I look at how I swing this thing. 
Look at how big this is. This thing's galvanized. It's not like this isn't like steel or anything. I'm basically like wanking a wanking a girder. Okay, let's just forget I said that. I'm basically like spinning a big old steel girder around. Whatever. We're going in the house. We're doing lower stuff. Okay, cool. Elro, you're here. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. Whatever. How's it going, fellas? There's a cat here. I didn't know there was a cat here. Anyways. You've done more than enough. Yeah, but I haven't saved the world yet, which means that I still have more to do, because I am the protagonist. Hmm. I am the only mechanic. Oh, yeah. Anyways. So. Good times. Of course. Hey, sunflowers always face the sun the way that this, the moon always faces the earth. How about that? I still don't really care. In all honesty. Like, this is a... It's a... I, I don't know. This is the kind of game that... It's half... I'm not even going to say it's half story, half gameplay. I don't even know what to... Because I, I don't even feel like I've missed anything by kind of skimming through the lore. But I also already know kind of what happens, you know. So, whatever. Perhaps. Dang, she straight up shot your foot off, dude. It's all I want. Uh, no. Sorry, pal. Not happening. Can I pet the cat? Of course not. Well... Oh well, I guess we'll uh we'll figure that out on the next episode though. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'm gonna shoot your whole dang foot off. Ha 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 ha. Good times. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.